step of the way. Praise the name of our God. As a matter of fact, the devil had counted you out. Paul said we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. I praise in his name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Open your Bible with me to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19. And those of you viewing this telecast, you'll be here at Solomon's Temple tomorrow night because I can't stop. Praise in his name. Oh, hallelujah. You'll be blessed here tomorrow night. As a matter of fact, uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday night. It's going to be two great nights. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Come and be blessed to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You'll find these words recorded. In verse 39, let's start at 38. Saying, Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven, glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. I just can't stop praising his name. Oh, hallelujah. I just can't stop. Praising his name. You know, God delights in praises. There is nothing delights the Lord 
like having somebody praise him. I don't know why it is true, and yet it is. In Isaiah 42 and 8, he said to Israel, I am the Lord, and that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another. The Lord doesn't want his people glorifying anybody. That kind of glory belonged to the Lord. Praise the Lord. There was a man glory and there's a God's glory. And you don't give man God's glory. You give man his glory. For the Bible say honor men. Honor the king. But he doesn't say honor the Lord. He said glorify him. Magnify him. Worship him. Give glory and honor unto his name. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus Christ revealed in the flesh. God revealed in the flesh. Brings to mind for the Palm Sunday spirit a thought that God wanted expressed in the house of the Lord, on the streets, in the highways, in the byways, in the house, in the attic, in the basement, everywhere. Because God was tired of other gods being glorified. And he is sitting in glory looking at his people glorifying these idol gods. He was angry with his people. He was jealous because God said if there is anybody who ought to be glorified, it is the eternal God. Not these stupid gods sitting on little thrones, sitting in little temples, sitting in the forest, gods made by hand, men are bowing down to. While I was in Egypt, as I went into the burial places of the great kings of our ancient past, of our ancestors, and for the first time, I understood something that was written in the Bible relating to God's jealousy of his people Israel and their worship of the gods of Egypt. In the book of Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and beasts, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. Against all the gods, gods, I will execute judgment. All the gods. Egypt had many gods. Egypt had more gods than any other nation on earth. The Hamite people were the inventors of gods. They had God for everything. And these gods dominated the lives of the people so that Jehovah God was shut out. So when Pharaoh asked Moses, who sent you? And Moses told him, God, Pharaoh wanted to know which God. <laughs> Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I got a whole lot of them sitting around here. Which one? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Which one you talking about, Moses? Uh, are you talking about the, 
uh, this God or that God or the other God, which God are you talking about? Moses said, no, I'm not talking about your gods. I'm not talking about these stupid gods, these dumb gods. I'm not talking about these man-made gods. And then the pharaohs, they were gods themselves. Praise the Lord. And the Lord said, I'm sick and tired of these pharaohs getting all my glory. Hallelujah. And I'm going to come in here tonight and I'm going to set the record straight. I'm going to let everybody know in Egypt who is God. Because there are too many gods sitting around here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And all these gods are in for some glory. And every time you look around, somebody is falling down to a god. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, when the pharaohs died, they had an elaborate burial system that when they died, it took billions of dollars just to bury them. Praise the Lord. They would build these monuments uh, to the uh, to their death and then when they would die the priest of Egypt would go into their elaborate ceremony to see to it that the Pharaoh made it cross the river the gods were to take the Pharaohs from death on in to the eternity of the resurrection Praise the Lord. I can understand now why God told Mary and Martha, I am the resurrection. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These dumb gods are not the resurrection. I am the resurrection. I am the life. And he that believeth in me shall never die. The Pharaoh didn't believe in death for in the perpetual form. They believed that death was a terminating of life here, but then it picked up again and went on in another world. And you came back later on in some other farm. Praise the name of God. But God Almighty said that I'm going to execute judgment against the gods of Egypt. He didn't say God, gods, which they had many gods. Praise the Lord. The Lord doesn't want you uh, to have a relationship uh, that represents deity to you with anybody. You can have a good wife and a good husband and you give that wife her just dues and you give that husband his just dues. But when it comes to worship, you got to look up, honey. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. You got to look up and give that glory to God Almighty. For he said, my glory I will not give to another. Praise the Lord. My glory belongs to me. And if you really want to be blessed, saints, you got to learn how to give God some glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You didn't hear me. I said, you got to learn how to do it. The saints have not yet learned how to glorify God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship him according to moods, praise the Lord, according to feelings. If we feel like it, we'll say hallelujah. If we feel like it, we'll say thank you, Jesus. If we feel like it, when it comes to worshiping God, it isn't a feeling that's got to come on you. Even when tears are running down, praise the Lord, you tell him hallelujah. Praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. God Almighty was tired of being second to the gods of Egypt. And so he said, I'm coming in here in judgment. And I'm going to show the gods of Egypt, you are not gods. I am the eternal God. Oh, praise the name of God. And you know this story. He set his people free that night. He brought them out with a mighty power outstretched hand and took them on in to the wilderness and you know that story that some of them didn't make it to the promised land some of them crossed the Jordan River shouting going on to victory praise the Lord but some of them wouldn't shout and they wouldn't praise it 
The Lord said, if you don't praise me, I'm going to leave you in this wilderness. Praise the Lord. You're going to have to praise me for what I've done for you. If you don't praise me for what I've done for you, I'm going to leave you sitting right here in this wilderness. Oh, hallelujah. You must not ever forget where the Lord brought you from. I can understand Palm Sunday by the saints who walked out into the streets and rejoiced and shouted in the broad daylight, told the world, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. You get so full sometime, you can't keep it any longer. You just got to let it out. And if you don't let it out, you feel like you're gonna burst wide open. Praise the name of God. Some of you all don't know what I'm talking about, but there is a good feeling about praising God. Thank you, Jesus. And some folks can't praise him because he hasn't been good to you the way he's been to some of us. You know, when the Lord been good to you, you ought to recognize him for the goodness that he's been in your life. Oh, hallelujah. Don't just sit there like a picture hanging on the wall. If the Lord done something for you, for God's sake, let him know you appreciate it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let him know you're grateful for what he's done for you. Let him know, praise the Lord, even if you haven't done nothing, Lord, I'm going to praise you for what you're going to do. Praise the Lord because I know that you are omnipotent. I know that you are wise and you're almighty I know that you can move the mountain and you can fill the valley you can straighten the crooked and I'm gonna praise you because I know it's gonna be done praise the Lord I'm gonna praise you because I know that you are the omnipotent God I know that you are the omniscient God I know that you you are he that was before the echo walked the solitude the zigzag lightning play the games in the universe I know before there was a win or where or then or there I know I know before the foundation of the earth was laid and the morning stars sang together and the sons of God shouted for joy I know you are God even though the world didn't know you, even though the gods of Egypt didn't know you, but I know who you are. Hallelujah. You brought me out of darkness. You heard my cry. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And anyone who want to praise him, that's your business, of course. Hallelujah. You can sit up in these cold icebox churches and don't say nothing. You can sit like the dry bones in the valley and don't ever move. But somebody needs to glorify God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody needs to look around and see where he brought you from. Because you used to be a nobody. You used to be a sinner. But look at you now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I don't care what you say about him. I'm going to praise him for being my God. Yes, sir. He might not be your God, but he's my God. He might not be your way maker. He's my way maker. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And somebody like the children of Israel, you forgot to praise him. The Lord said, I brought you through the Red Sea. You didn't swim across it. You didn't get on a boat and ride across it. You didn't get on some logs and float across it. I, 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 I spoke to the wind and I told the 
winds to blow. And I told the Red Sea, get back. Because I'm going to work a miracle today. I got somebody who don't know how to praise me. I got somebody who don't know who I am. I want somebody to know I can take nothing and make something out of it. I want somebody to know I can take darkness and turn it into light. I want somebody to know I can take the crooked and make it straight. I want somebody, hallelujah, to know before me there wasn't no God before me there was nothing there was nothing I was God all by myself nobody know how I got to be God nobody know who made me nobody know how I came to be hallelujah all these dumb gods of Egypt I know who made you all you stupid gods of Egypt I know who your father is I know who your mother is but this God that they call Jesus somebody said Joseph is his daddy somebody said Mary is his mother but Jesus said no before Abraham was, he said, I am. Hey, hallelujah. And there comes a time in every man's life, he's got to praise him like he's God. Hallelujah. Don't praise him because you know he exists. Praise him as you would praise a God. Thank you, Jesus. That's the way you do it. You don't do it the way you show your appreciation to each other you go beyond that when someone do us a favor we say thank you sometimes we may take them in our arms and hug them and say oh you just wonderful praise the lord the lord say don't treat me like that praise the lord because i am not a man i'm god hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. And when you come into my courts, treat me like God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. When you come into my sanctuary, let the world know that you're worshiping the living God. Not a dead God, but the living God. Thank you, Jesus. When you come into my sanctuary, I don't want you to be quiet. So quiet until you can hear pinfall. I want you to take note of Palm Sunday because Palm Sunday represents the free worship of Jesus Christ by those who felt they owed him something. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible said they came from every direction. Oh, praise the Lord. They said within themselves, I got a feeling they ought to tell him thank you. I got a feeling I ought to find Jesus and tell him glory to God in the highest. I have a feeling that I've been keeping silent too long. I need to open my mouth and let the world know that he brought me from a long way. I got a feeling I need to let the world know before Jesus died 
that I appreciate everything. I felt a feeling that I need to let the world know who signed them on. And the Bible said they came from every direction. Oh, the mountains and the hills, oh, the valleys, and through the mountains, they came running and singing. They came jumping and shouting. They came rejoicing, and they just might have been talking in tongues. I don't know, but they were having a good time coming from all directions. You could hear them singing over the hills of Bethlehem, over the hills of Galilee, and all around the holy city of Jerusalem. They got together, praise our God, as if go somebody organized it. But when the spirit moved, you need to move with the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. When the spirit tell you to tell him thank you, no matter who's sitting next to you, tell him anyhow. When the spirit tell you to clap your hands, don't just sit there because there's a blessing in that hand clap. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so they came from every direction. They came with a song in their soul. They came with joy in their hearts and peace in their minds. Oh, hallelujah. And I can hear somebody saying, you know, we're going to meet the Pharisees and we're going to meet the scribes and they're going to tell us to shut up because this is not grace, this is law. And you don't praise God on the law because Moses said no one but the high priest can go into the Holy of Holies. No one but the Levites can attend to the sanctuary. Hallelujah. So when we get to town, we know we're going to be stopped. But somebody said, let them try because I know where the Lord brought me from. I know what he got me out of. I can see Mary, oh God, in that crusade coming down the highway. I can see Joseph in that crusade coming down the highway. I can see Bartimaeus coming down the highway with a song in his soul and joy in his mind. I can see Lazarus in that same group singing the song of the resurrection. Hallelujah. My Lord. They had so much to praise him for because they had seen Jesus stop funeral processions and tell the dead man to get up. They had seen Jesus stop funeral processions and tell a young woman to rise. Hallelujah. So the undertaker had a complaint because he said he's hurting my business. Every time I embalm him, he raise him. Praise the name of God. I know somebody got to praise him. I know. I know somebody has got to look around and see where God brought you from. Somebody, somebody need to count your blessing. Name them one by one. Somebody, oh, oh yeah, somebody have become complacent, have praised him in a long time have said hallelujah have even said thank you in a long time you need to praise him hallelujah you need to glorify him the song say I can't stop praising the name I can't stop 
clapping my hand, patting my feet. I can't stop walking around saying, look where he brought me from. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop telling the world. I've been blessed by the hand of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This multitude coming together, coming across the hills, in the highways, breaking down palm trees, breaking bushes from the trees on the side of the highway. When you get happy, you don't know what to do. Hallelujah. When you get happy, sometimes you want to sit down, but you're so happy you can't sit down. You have to get up. When you get so happy, you don't know how to express it sometimes. Hallelujah. And I can hear all of these people saying within themselves, he blessed me once. He blessed me twice. He blessed me three times. Hallelujah. And I've never taken the time to tell him thank you. But this day, I'm going to find Jesus. This day, I'm going to sit at his feet. I'm going to tell the whole world. I've been redeemed. I've been washed in the blood of the land. Today, I'm going to praise his name. Today, I'm going to sing my song. And I don't care what you say. You can pull along if you want to. You can bring Moses out of his closet. You can bring Aaron from the mountain. You can bring the law on me. You can put the Ten Commandments on me. But the Ten Commandments couldn't do what Jesus did. Moses couldn't do what Jesus had done. Hallelujah. You can talk about Abraham if you want to. Abraham couldn't do this. What Jesus has done. Therefore, I'm going to find him. And I'm going to tell him what I feel about him. Hallelujah. Jesus felt the mood of the hour. And Jesus told the disciples, say, go into the city. And you'll find a man with a donkey. He said, tell that man the master has need of him. He said, bring him here. Hallelujah. I'm going for a ride. I've been walking 33 years. I'm going for a ride. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. I don't want Pharaoh's chariot. I don't want Pharaoh's horses. I don't want Pharaoh's uh, surrey. I'm going to use a donkey so no one will mistake who I am. Hallelujah. If I come in a chariot, they'll bring out the politicians. They'll bring out the, the, the religious leaders of the Pharisees and scribes. But if I ride a donkey, the Pharisees will stay home. And the Sadducees will stay in the church selling tall doves and pigeons. But if I do like the Bible say, daughters of Zion, behold your king cometh riding. Riding on the foal, a coat of an ass. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ sat on a donkey and told the donkey, say, get up. The old donkey took off, went down the highway, looking back at the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. The old donkey said within himself, out of all the donkeys, nobody got my blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
thank the Lord. No matter how many duckies in the valley, I'm the blessed ducky. I'm the holy ducky. Praise the name of God. And I'm so glad he picked me out above everybody else and sat on my back. And he said, go ahead, Jesus, ride on my back because I know who you are. You are the omnipotent God. You are the almighty God. You are the Prince of Peace, the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, the Morning Star. You are, hallelujah, the answer to a broken heart. You are my joy. You are my peace. You are my everything. Come on. Ride my back. Ooh, hallelujah. The donkey start trotting. The old donkey start trotting. Hallelujah. And the people came from everywhere and start singing while the donkey's feet made music. The folks started singing because they didn't have an organ. They didn't have a piano. They went according to the sound of the old donkey's feet. Hallelujah. It's like music in my ear. Praise the Lord. The women took their tamarines and started rattling them. The men took the bushes and started throwing them all up and down the highway. Praise the Lord. Some took their garments off. Praise the Lord. And laid them in the way. And said to Jesus, we want you to know how we feel about you. We want the world to know I'm not ashamed for who you are. I'm not ashamed for what you've done for me. Someone said you heal me. Someone said you pick me up and you turn me around. Someone said you gave me my sight. Someone said you heal my legs. Someone said you heal my back. And someone said you took care of my high blood pressure. Someone said you heal my tumor. Someone said you heal my cancer. Someone said you heal me of high blood pressure. Hallelujah. And I just want you to know I'm glad to be in the number one more time. I'm Saints of God, you need to get the glad, the glad, glad. Too many of you are not glad enough. You're too satisfied. You need to get the glad. When you get the glad, you'll tell Jesus, I thank you. You'll tell Jesus, I magnify you. Hallelujah. And they came from every direction. Glory to God. The highway is filled. The mountains are full. The singing is ringing out over the hills and the mountains. The songs are ringing out. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. They kept on singing, and when they reached the synagogue, Jesus got off the donkey and went walking in the temple. And when he got inside, the people came on in, singing the songs of praise. And the scribes and the Pharisees said, stop them, shut them up, he said, hallelujah. But Jesus let them keep on singing. They sang in the same. The scribe said and the Pharisees said, if you don't stop them, we'll put them out. But Jesus said, let me tell you, before you put them out, 
God. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Praise the name of God. He said, if these don't praise me, the rock's going to cry out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Saints of God, if you don't praise him, the rocks are going to cry out. If you don't praise him, he's going to go to a bear God and get himself an alcoholic and dress him up right and sit him right next to you in the house of the Lord. And that alcoholic is going to say, hallelujah. That alcoholic is going to say, thank you. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. But I tell you about me, I can't stop praising his name. I can't stop praising his name. I can't stop praising his name. He picked me up. He picked me up. He picked me up. He turned me around. I got to praise him. 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 Because he's worth. Because he's worth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 